ABC's Witt Johnson leading us off tonight outside the Javits Center here in New York as we learn of these new cases, including at least five cases here in New York. Tonight, at least four states now reporting cases of the new Omicron variant. New York late today reporting five new infections. Literally, there are five cases identified today in the state of New York. And in Colorado, a fully vaccinated woman who was eligible for a booster but hadn't received one. It is somebody who just traveled to southern Africa uh, and returned. Uh, she is uh, experiencing mild symptoms and is isolating at home. And in Minnesota, authorities calling a new case there a wake-up call, detecting the variant in a resident who had returned from New York City, where he attended an anime conference the weekend before Thanksgiving at the Javits Center. Officials suspect the man was likely infected at the conference seen here where the 53,000 attendees were required to have at least one vaccine shot and wear masks. Everyone was vaccinated, though, so I'm not too worried, but obviously variants are complicated. New York's governor, Kathy Hochul, is now urging those people to get tested. We do anticipate there'll be more cases, but to the extent that they are mild, we'll address them. This is not cause for alarm. The Minnesota man also reported mild symptoms, was fully vaccinated, and got a booster shot in early November. President Biden telling the American people we must be united as we fight this. Laying out his winter strategy, he said there will be free at-home rapid tests with reimbursement for Americans with private insurance and 50 million free test kits to be handed out to the uninsured or those on Medicaid. The bottom line, this winter, you'll be able to test for free in the comfort of your home and have some peace of mind. The president also urged vaccinated Americans to get the booster, encouraging people to text their zip code to this number, 438829, immediately on your phone, and you'll get a list of the pharmacies in your area where there are boosters. We tested it today, and it worked. We move forward in the face of COVID-19 and the Delta variant, and we'll move forward in the face of Omicron variant as well. Experts warning we could soon be fighting COVID on two fronts, the unknown Omicron and the now surging Delta variant. Well, I think it's going to take a lot to displace um, the, the Delta variant. There's a good possibility that we'll have both variants uh, around for a while, particularly for the Omicron variant. In New York State, 37 hospitals with less than 10 percent capacity and facing staffing shortages will start postponing elective surgeries again. And in Michigan, there are more patients hospitalized now than at any other time in the pandemic. Our teams right now are caring for more patients than I have ever had on our ICU teams in the almost 20 years that I've uh, been a physician here. A lot of moving parts on this tonight with Johnson with us live and with the president today echoing what we've heard so far from Dr. Anthony Fauci, from Dr. Ja right here on this broadcast and other experts that people who are vaccinated and get a booster have a highest level of protection, in many cases, a higher level of antibodies in your system than even after your second vaccine shot. And so far, several of these cases with the new variant are among vaccinated people. Uh, seeing just mild symptoms still early, but this would appear to be encouraging that the vaccines are working. David, that's right. At least four people were fully vaccinated and at least one person had recently received a booster shot. Experts have been predicting all along that even as new variants emerge, the vaccines would provide some level of protection, especially against severe illness. Now, we do know of the cases in the United States so far, those symptoms have been mild. And as you noted, most of those people were fully vaccinated. But again, officials urging people to go out and get their booster shots. Here is that number one more time. You can text your zip code to 438-829 to find out where you can get a booster shot in your immediate area. David. Witt Johnson leading us off tonight with thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.